Hi there, Scorpio, and welcome back to Star Lord is Tarot. This is your tarot forecast for the week of April the 15th through to the 21st. I went ahead, shuffle the cards, lay them all out. Let's see what's going on for the Scorps. First up, we have the Eight of Wands in the upright, followed then by Major Arcana, High Priestess reversed. Next, we have the Six of Swords in the upright, followed then by the Ace of Swords upright. Lastly, we have Major Arcana, the World in the upright position. So for your overall energy, you have the Eight of Wands in the upright position. It's pretty fun, exciting, and fast-moving energy for you this week, Scorpio. You could be in a situation... Well, this is Arrows of Love, find their mark. So it could be that you are in the situation where you've just met somebody and you're in the um, early stages and you guys are just messaging each other back and forth, back and forth, and just having such a great time keeping in contact it could be with phone calls it could be with uh, sending funny little memes to one another to um, Facebook everything or maybe all of the above when you first meet somebody and those first sparks start to fly um, the conversation just tends to flow for others of you this could be about business this could be about plenty of new clients coming your way um, really good news if you're in sales. This could indicate a lot of sales. For those of you who are on the dating sites, there could be a lot of action in that respect. Um, uh, just lots of communication going back and forth. Some of you, it can indicate sudden travel. So uh, maybe there is a need for you to just up and perhaps go somewhere. It could be on a personal front or it could be for business. But there could be a need to just boom, get out of Dodge real quick. <laughs> Hopefully it's, it's not in that respect where you have to leave somewhere. It's just that maybe something comes up and you have to go and take care of it in person kind of thing. The High Priestess is starting off your week in the reverse position, indicating something is being revealed. There's a big reveal here for you, Scorpio. Scorpios love the big reveals. In the upright position, the High Priestess uh, points to hidden knowledge, needing to use one's intuition um, to find out what's going on because nobody is either ready, willing, or able to tell you what's been happening. So... When it's in the reverse position, this is where the news finally breaks. So there's breaking news coming to you at the beginning of the week. Something is being revealed. It could be being revealed by you, but it could definitely be being revealed by others um, around you. Or it could be something that comes, um, like big news that comes from, you know, like actual news that happens. Maybe it makes a big difference in your life. Next card up is the uh, Six of Swords in the upright position. Pointing to moving on from emotional difficulties of the past. It could be metaphorically for some of you. For others of you, this could represent Again, travel. You have two cards of potential travel here. Let us know in the comment section below if these readings are resonating for you because we would like to hear all about it. <laughs> so you can um, <clears throat> tell us your story. You can tell a little bit about whether or not the reading, this particular reading resonates for you. Go ahead and uh, share with us, okay? <laughs> you guys are pretty good commenters. You really are. At least on my channel. I don't know about anybody else's, but... <laughs> yes, drop us a comment. Anyway, getting back to the Six of Swords. Some of you could be moving. Maybe you're making big plans to move. You could be moving across town. You could be moving to a new town. You could be moving... Um, across the ocean, across the pond. You could be moving anywhere. It could be moving homes, moving offices. It's just, uh, again, just getting away. Maybe some of you are just getting away from it all. It could be too, it's following the High Priestess, the big reveal, the breaking news here, could actually, now that something's been revealed, maybe you are ready to move on from that situation. Maybe something came out and now you have your answers and you're ready to just emotionally like detach from the situation. 
or others of you, the breaking news could have prompted you to go somewhere or move, remember sudden travel, right? <laughs> Moving on towards the weekend, we have the Ace of Swords here in the upright position. Aces always usher in something new, something fresh, again, indicating um, clarity. But then we've got clarity all over the place here, right? We've got the clarity here as well. So for some of you, the Ace of Swords can represent a brilliant new idea that comes to you out of the anti-cosmos. For others of you, the Ace of Swords can represent clarity about a situation. This is also known as the Sword of Victory. So you could be ending up victorious in situations that involve communication. So this could be winning a verbal argument, uh, to anything from that to... Um, you know, getting your way in terms of legal contracts or things like that. There could be a new way of communicating with uh, someone if you've been having communication blocks with a person or even yourself. Sometimes our self-dialogue can get pretty messed up. <laughs> Let me know in the, in the comment section below if you know what I mean by that comment. <laughs> Sometimes self-dialogue will can get pretty uh, confusing. So this is the clearing up of confusion. This can represent just cutting through the truth of the matter. And that's where you get your clarity. So interesting. And then the last card you have is Major Account of the World. World changing events, uh, breaking news and world changing events. Wow. What an intense, intense uh, read here for you. For some of you Scorpios, this is going to be a major uh, turning point week. For others of you, it could be a, a situation where it's just been a long time coming and now it's finally coming to this point. The world is, I call this my graduation card, right? This is where we are graduating. We are moving on from one aspect of our life that maybe we have been doing for a long time. We're moving away from that. We're closing that door in order to open up a new door. Uh, some of you could literally be graduating maybe from a course or from uh, <clears throat> something that you're doing. For others of you, this could represent uh, retirement. You could be closing the door on your old career, or maybe opening up the door to a new career. Or you could just be closing out altogether depending upon where you are in your life. Remember, these are just general reads, so just take what makes sense in your scenario. But you could be closing out a cycle here and uh, putting an end to something. Sometimes this can represent like si signing the divorce papers. You know, the divorce has been in progress for a while and this is the signing of the divorce papers. Others of you, it could be selling a home that you've lived in for 25 years. You raise your family there and it's time to downsize or it's time to go travel the world, just sell the, the house and go and travel somewhere. Could be moving. Um, maybe you've lived in a certain place all of, you know, for many years, 20 years or something. And you could be up and, and traveling and going somewhere else to sort of, uh, you know, start your life from there now. So lots of things can come to a close, could be habits for some of you, long standing habits. And it's like, I'm just not going to be doing that anymore. So something is closing out for you come the end of the week. Looks like a pretty intense week here for you, um, Scorpio. And it looks like the week may just fly by pretty quickly with this overall energy being uh, that of speed, right? Hmm wonder what it could mean for me as well. I am a Scorpio. I'm looking forward to this week now. <laughs> so that's what I have for you. Thank you so much for joining me. And speaking of joining me, I would like to invite you to come and watch the podcast this Sunday on the 14th of um, April when my guest will be Chris Reck from Minnow Pond. He's been on the uh, on the podcast before he's going to be joining us again this sunday we're going to be having some pretty interesting and fun uh conversations so you don't want to miss that so come and join us live if you possibly can be a part of the audience or um you could come and join the live chat or just watch it in the replay if you can't make the live um podcast but either way make sure you catch it <laughs> you can always come back to the channel afterwards just look at the top um, when you come to the channel where it says home videos and so forth uh, just look for the live and then 
click on that and all of the podcasts will come. You can watch all the podcasts after they've been run under that uh, live feature. So hope to see you there. Take care. Much love. I hope you have a fabulous, fabulous week, Scorpio. And I hope the reading helped you. If it did, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And I will see you again in the next video. Take care. Much love. Namaste. Bye-bye for now.